It's the start of Group 2 in the main round in the Handball European Championships. France against Croatia. Russia took on Sweden. The Swedes, four-time European champion, looking to restore the glory days. Poland faced Belarus. Belarus looking for their first ever win in the main round of a Euro. And we recap on a tremendous night in Herning as Denmark beat Spain. A measure of revenge for the defeat at last year's Worlds. First though, France are back on track after failing at Serbia in 2012. Three wins out of three in the group. Croatia first up in the main round. Group two, this was a rematch of the 2010 final, which the French won. Croatia were out of the blocks quicker here, though. Jerome Fernandez, of all people there, making the mistake, allowing even Kupic to extend the Croatians' lead to 9-6. There were 10 goals scored in the first seven minutes here. Michael Guigou would be influential for the French. Claude Onesta is spurring his players on. Guigou beating Mirko Alilovic. 15-14 at that stage. And then a goal from the French to level it at 17 all. Seven goals from Nikola Karabatic. 102 kilometer an hour bullet shot. Nine metres out, off the bar and in, it was a ripper. 18-17 lead for the French at the end of the first half, thanks to Guigou. High scoring first half, low scoring second. 17 goals traded. Significantly, France's man of the match was Thierry Omeyer, the goalkeeper. 21-19 lead established by Karabatic 24-20, thanks to Valentin Portes. And Croatia tried to narrow the gap. 26-24 here when Denis Buntic was able to beat a shot past Omayer. The low one this. Croatia with another goal as well in the very last minute, making it nervy. 26-25, Slatko Horva fed by Valsic through the goalkeeper's legs here. But 20 seconds to play. And France with another goal, thanks to Nicola Karabatic. 27-25. And the French bandwagon rolls on. It is played for 1-4 for Claude Onesta's team. Both Russia and Sweden had lost on the last night of the group stage. One could bounce back here and steal a march on the tricky road to the semi-final. 13-10 for Sweden here, thanks to Matthias Zakrisson. Frederick Peterson would be influential too. Seven goal lead for Sweden, established within the last seconds of the first half. Always sharp, always on the money for Russia is Konstantin Igrapulo. That was his eighth goal of the night. 22-17 and then was followed in kind by Dmitry Zhitnikov. That pulled the Russians to within two. Sweden won four of the first five Euros between 1994, 2002, haven't won since that 2002. Victory at home in Stockholm, haven't even reached the semis since then. No world title leader since 99. And who did they beat then? The Russians. Levshin was excellent for Russia. Johan Jakobsen, Sweden's man of the match, denied there. Alexei Polyakov from Igrapulo's assist. Levshin saving again that time, the seven metre penalty from Ekberg. Pavel Atman and Zhitnikov did their best for Russia, who took the lead. 
26 25 this with seven minutes to play Tobias Fredriksson by the way red carded for the second match in succession for Sweden so this was tense right up until the end moments Frederick Peterson not once but twice just got Sweden over the line at the end 29 27 victory and this could prove invaluable by the end of the main round group here a terrific two points for Sweden hard fought as well Poland were involved in an absolute thriller against Belarus here what joy before the end for Michael Beagler, the coach against the nation in Belarus who've only qualified for the second time here in Denmark. Belarus had come through third in the group, but they led 8-7 when Dmitry Kamishik scored 11 minutes before the interval. Mikulin Kao with the assist. But pendulum swung the other way. Poland here with a two-goal lead. Thanks to Marius Zhurkovic, six goal, best scorer of the day. And eight all, six different Polish players got on the school sheet. Versatile lineup, the Poles. Ten seconds to play in the first half. Zahai Shilovic from nine metres reduced the gap. Belarus star man, well, that's Yehei Ritenka. One of his six goals there, top corner, 19 all. And then Ratenka again repeating the trick. And then it would all get so spicy in the uh, final 10 minutes. Poland closing the gap, 26-25, Patrick Kaczynski, right corner shot. Ratenka again for Belarus. 29 25 they led with five minutes to play. So obviously on the verge of a fantastic victory, but Poland never gave it up. Back to 30 29 with Bartos Jurecki's seven meter effort. 30 all here thanks to Jurkovic. 200 career goals he passed in this match. Milestone reached with his seventh of eight. Fantastic late rally, 50 seconds to play. Belarus with a player in the sim bin, and then what about this? Eight seconds to play, just look at the clock. Marius Zhurkovic, 31-30, just in the nick of time. That's what they call it. Phenomenal win this, great drama. And Poland off the mark with a win, and in what style? So confirmation then of uh, results on the opening nights in the uh, main round in Group 2. France, Croatia and Sweden, 6-4, four, four points respectively. Match night two in this section. Well, that comes in 48 hours' time. Not much rest for the teams. France fancied for two more points, surely against Belarus. Russia face Croatia and it's Poland against Sweden well, on Saturday night we had a thriller in Herning it was the world champion Spain against the European champions and the hosts here Denmark there was revenge on Danish minds too a year ago Spain had humiliated Denmark in the final of the world championship in Barcelona 39-15 victory. 12 months on. And in front of 14,000 inside the Bank Boxen Arena. This time it was Denmark who dominated. Mikkel Hansen and company came out on top. 31-28. Denmark off to a flyer. Of course, this feels great to, to, to win against one of the greatest teams in the world. And uh, the arena was really on... On a high, high level, a lot of noise, uh, 
they really came under pressure, you know. And um, on the other hand, uh, especially in second half, we got our defense uh, established, and uh, it gave us opportunities to run a lot of fast breaks. And uh, in, in attack, we we solved uh, their 5-1 really good. Spain are still favourites to rise and qualify for the semi-final, just two goals adrift of the Danes at half-time. But the second half they came up against Nicholas Landin, 40% save efficiency, he was brilliant, the Danish goalkeeper. At the beginning of the second half we gave away goals too cheaply. It's a game we could have lost really heavily, now we have to think about What's coming next? We have to win two games and then we'll get to the semis. The important thing is that we have it in our own hands. Well, Denmark are on the road to the semi here, no question themselves. Minimum goal for the Euro title holders. And they've beaten the world champions too. Could it be? Another we have two Euro crown. To, uh, to take a place in the semi-finals, and of course that's the goal uh, for this main round. Uh, the most important thing for us to secure a semi-final uh, in our next game against Hungary. So we will be focused uh, at least as we were today. So we will try to win that game. Well, the next opponents, Hungary, will be flying. They beat the Macedonians in their first match through twice in the opening phase. Not fancy to reach these semi-finals. Underdogs, if you like. But the pressure will be off. It'll be up to Denmark to dominate again in Herning. We, we can't lose against uh, Denmark, so uh, we have to try everything, you know. Uh, we know that uh, they are a better team. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they play very, very good. Uh, 14,000 people are here, you know, uh, uh, many spectators, they are at home, so everything is with Denmark. Uh, and that's uh, sometimes is good for the small things, you know, uh, and they give uh, something plus uh, power. So What an atmosphere it's been as well in Herning. Could they be carrying their team all the way? So this is the situation in Group 1 of the main round. Denmark next up against Hungary. It is Spain against Austria. The Spanish looking to bounce back. And indeed, we fully expect them to. And Macedonia against Iceland. Goal of the day today from the Euro. That comes from Poland's Belarus. Had to, didn't it? It's a winning goal right at the finish. Extraordinary scenes.